What's the idea? Oh, it's you, eh? My name's Johnny Gray. So pleased to meet you again. I'm Officer Kirby, remember? Yeah, yeah. Well, hurry up and write it out. All I'm right, hungry. follow me. Okay. Will you stop that infernal pacing? Dad, something serious must have happened to Johnny this time. He's an hour and a half late. Well, I'm not surprised. That boy's been getting mixed up in more scrapes lately, and, and I'm fed up. I'm going to try and locate him. Hello. Hello, darling. Johnny, I was just trying to find you. I'm sorry I'm late, honey, but uh, I just had a date with a bail bondsman. And what now? Oh, nothing. Speed up signal and giving Nasser peace of my mind. Charge. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. My lawyer will fix all the charges in the morning. If we hurry, we can still make second act. Oh, just a minute, Johnny. I want to have a talk with you alone. I'll go upstairs and powder my nose. That won't be necessary, Patricia. Johnny and I are going in the library. Well, here goes nothing. Sit down. Young man, do you realize you're jeopardizing my daughter's future as well as your own? Well, you're pretty strong, isn't it? Your escapades are beginning to rile up the public authority. Drunk driving, public brawls, reckless conduct. These are serious times, boy. You can't go on like this. I admit I haven't been exactly a model citizen. You've got to consider Patricia too, John. I'll not allow her to marry a man who won't accept responsibilities. I guess I asked for that. Well, what do you intend doing about it? Mr. Bedford, you're talking to a reformed character. From now on, I'll be the modern version of Sir Galahad. I have your word on that? You have my hand on it, sir. Good. Well? Everything's all right, Pat. Your dad and I have had an understanding. If you promise to be a good boy, make sure you keep it this time. Sacred honor. Now, how about getting married tomorrow? Oh, no. I'm putting you on a month's probation. What? If you're a perfect angel for one month, you can name the date. What am I supposed to do, sprout wings and cultivate a halo? Mm, not exactly, but you are going to start keeping decent hours, and you can only stay out late one night a week. And when does this routine start? As of right now. You're going to go right home and go to bed. We have a date to play tennis seven in the morning. Nothing good will ever come of this. Good night, angel. Good night. Attention. Attention all cars. General alarm. Be on the lookout for four men believed to have held up security trust bank. Last seen in dark blue sedan. Use the utmost caution. These men are armed. A general description follows. Keep your hands on the wheel and you won't get hurt. Okay, boys, in the back. What's that? Never mind. We ain't got a lot of time. Step on it. Lucky him coming along. Ah, uh, shut up. How was I going to know our car was going to break down? It would have been out of the woods by now if it hadn't been for you. What was it, the First National Bank? Shut your trap. Just trying to be sociable. Just keep on driving. Anyway, there was no ice cream wagon. Well, I'll see. I thought we had that nut sealed up for the night. Go and get him. What's so funny? Nothing, pal. The cops, boss, what do we do? Keep going, and no smart moves. They're gaining on us. Turn into that next side road. 
When we slow down, I'll take the dough and break for it. Hey, you wouldn't run out on us, would you, Rico? Yeah, boss. You ought to know me better than that. We have a better chance if we separate. If anything happens, sit tight. You know where to meet. And don't say nothing. This'll talk big when the time comes. Gotcha, boss. Boys, I'd swear that this kid is the brains of the outfit. Who's gonna swallow that? The jury, if you say what I told you. This kid is supposed to be helping you pull these holdups for the excitement. I still think it sounds phony. You're not paid to think. Now listen to hard jump. The law knows there were four men in that holdup. If the kid is cleared, they'll go looking for that other man. So what? So this. If Rico gets sent up for the rest of you guys, then none of you has a chance. With him on the outside, we can plan to break the rest of you out. It's your only chance, Reaper. Where's the dough? Who's got it? Rico's got it stashed away. It's too hot to shove around. When the heat's off, we use that dough to operate. Oh, yeah? Now, don't worry. Your cut will be waiting for you when you get out. Okay, Gasher. I'll tell the boys what to say on a witness day. Now you're talking. And you swear he was the leader of your gang? Yeah. That's it? That'll be all. Thanks. Did he ever give you any reason why he joined the underworld? Why he wanted to steal? He never took none of the doll. He said he just wanted thrills. That'll be all. And you say that he planned and executed the robbery. And that he arranged for your getaway in his car. Transferring from the robbery car. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what he done. That'll be all. You knew nothing about us being mixed up with this gang. Is that right, Miss Benton? Yes, that's right. I knew absolutely nothing. But you did know he was always out for a new thrill, that he was wild and reckless, that he was often missing for periods of time, and that when he did turn up, he'd always been in some scrape. Yes, that's true. Then, although you were engaged to marry this man, actually, you knew very little about his private life. Is that true? Yes. Now, uh, the robbery was committed at 10.45 p.m. What time did the defendant leave your home? 10 o'clock. Are you sure? I'm quite sure. Thank you, Miss Bedford. That'll be all. Therefore, my duty to sentence you as instigator of this crime, together with your three accomplices, to the state penitentiary for a period of from five to ten years. But, Your Honor, I... Court adjourned.
Are you handsome? <laughs> There's nothing like stuff for new thrills. Hey, Harry? Uh, the Waldorf ain't got a thing on this joint. <laughs> Gray? I'm Gray. Follow me. What rap did you bring up? I was framed in here. You don't say. So was I. So was every con in the dump. It's an epidemic. I was framed, you understand? Okay, it was framed. Look at this shirt. Get me another. Want a different color, my lord? Get wise, face. This ain't Bond Street. It's too small. Put it on. We ain't got all day. I don't want this shirt. Get me another one. What's the trouble here? This face don't like his shirt. It's a regulation shirt. Put it on. Any fool can see it's too small. Look at it. The ordinary punishment for disobeying a guard is a month in solitary. You're new here, so I'll make an allowance for that. But there are some things you better find out before you get a lot of wrong ideas. You're here because you committed a crime. You broke a law that society saw fit to enact for its own protection. Somebody better start passing a law to protect me from society. I was framed in here. What do you think about that? Well, I don't think it's very original. Every man in here will tell you that about himself. You're here to do time, to pay a debt. We're here to see that you do. We're your friends. Now, don't make it tough on yourself. Either you wear that shirt or go without. Remember what I said and you'll be all right. Lucky he's the right guy. You could have got solitary. Well, you get a load of the warden. You'll pin your ears back. Nobody will pin my ears back. Okay, son, okay. Okay. Come on, you. The artillery's coming in, boss. When? Next month. Nice work. Shall I tell the boys? No, wait till I give you the word. I don't want to give no rat a chance to squeal. Kane, show this fish the ropes. Okay. Well, all you do is this all day long. What's the rap? Robbery. First? That's right. Listen, kid. As long as you keep your nose clean, you won't get hurt. Get curious and it won't go so good for you. Don't worry. It's getting so every kid who busts open a cigarette machine gets in here. I said don't worry. Worry? Look, I never worry. Because one word out of you to the warden, you'll get this. Right in the gizzard. I've got to work on that bail. Okay. How long? Twelve hours so far. Come on, stand straight. Well, isn't that enough? This is special. Disrespect to the warden. Why? Come on, get up, I bet. Get up! Stand up! No wonder they're tough. Put him. Henry King. They can't do that. Well, warden's orders. One week and he'll be as tough as Kane is. If you ask me, I'd call it a draw. Go on. Here's a new playmate, King. Uh, what's the idea of handing me this kid? You're no prize package. I didn't ask for it. We held a meeting and decided you was lonesome. Now be good boys. Who fixed this? Ask the warden. Now I know you're a stool pigeon. Why, you dirty little man. Lay off and get this. I'm no stoolie. I hate guards as much as you do. More. I was framed up here. Every copper's alike to me, and if they're looking for trouble, they're going to get it. And that goes for you, too. Double. You're pretty tough, aren't you? Well, start something and you'll find out. 
what I said in the mill still goes. You sleep upstairs. Who's the old woman? The what? The guard with the brotherly love complex. Oh, you mean Sanders? Oh, just a copper only dumber. When he was a kid, his old man got it in a break. Now he runs around like a hymn book salesman. <laughs> only the warden is going to get rid of him if he doesn't keep out of his hair. We had a short discourse this morning on the importance of my new social connections. You weren't in my 400. Yeah, well, he's not in mine either. Tell me, kid, uh, who sent you up here? A great, stupid, club-footed moron called Society. Oh, so, uh, they got you on a frame, huh? <laughs> Ain't that sweet? Maybe... Maybe you'd like to come for a stroll sometime, huh? You're not thinking of whittling your way out of here with that toad stabber, are you? Well, uh, maybe I've got a little surprise. Count me out. Uh, just as I thought. Yella. Why, you... Wait a minute, kid. Take it easy. You and I are going to get along all right. Maybe. But you, you know Kane's record, sir. When a week he'd have Gray and his gang, then it's goodbye. Men are supposed to be rehabilitated here, not condemned. Suppose you let me run this prison. Well, you know yourself, sir, that if That'll this... be all. One more thing, Sanders. I don't like you or your ideas. You've been here a long time. The only reason that I don't kick you out is because of your father. Is that clear? Well, sir, if you don't... Is that clear? Yes, the governor's on the phone, sir. Put him on. Yes, governor. I don't care what the newspapers say. The medical record shows that the prisoner died of a heart attack. But this isn't a Dane nursery, governor. What time does the prison board meet? I'll be there. All right, Governor. Hello, Amy. Hey, come in. Hey, you're looking swell. Thank you. What is this? You, uh, you playing hooky? No, I've inaugurated a new policy entitled Spend More Time with Dear Old Dad. Sounds good. <laughs> Sit down, Dad's dressing. Thanks. Well, how's juvenile delinquency? You still studying how to curb crime in short pants? You go making fun of my life's work. Besides, if more children were properly cared for, you wouldn't be so busy. That's right. And speaking of work, I saw that frown when you came in. Oh, I'm just getting old, I'm afraid. Something happening here at the prison? Daddy never tells me anything. Well, you may as well know. Conditions are getting worse instead of better. There's so much useless brutality, and the warden encourages it. Yes, I read that thing about the man dying in the papers. And that's only one item. There's going to be trouble. Amy, why didn't you tell me Frank was here? Hello, Hello. boy. <laughs> Haven't you heard, darling? This is the house of mystery. Nobody tells anybody anything. Daddy, why didn't you write me about what's been happening here? Oh, we always have trouble in prison. So, Amy, for heaven's sake, let's have some dinner. Well, something's going on here. Amy, mind your father. <laughs> All right, but it's practically in your mouth. Sit down. <clears throat> The warden's going before the prison board next week at the annual meeting. And as usual, they'll give him a clean bill. I don't think so. Boys think you're getting two pounds with the kid, boss. He might be a stool. Well, the boys are wrong. The kid's on the level. He's smart. I need a guy with brains. Is he going out with us? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I could only make sure the guy isn't Chella. Well, we'll wait and see. Here he comes now. No cracks. Hi, kid. Hi. Looking for somebody? Yeah, a few rats I know.
guy, you see, and all of a sudden he comes right behind me. Well, what do you think of it? Yeah. Well, all right, Creaser. Hello? Well, what do you want? You know what I want. Do I? Put them both in the hole. Yes, sir. This will teach you to play rough. Won't stop me. It won't, huh? You'll come out of here on a stretcher. Yeah? Wait around and see. We'll be waiting next month. Come on, get in there. Well, anyway, I was finally able to convince the board that you should be given a chance as the new warden. You know, Sanders, I have great faith in your idea, and I applaud the ideal behind it. I want to warn you, there'll be a lot of criticism because it's very revolutionary and because you're a young man. You can't blame society for being touchy about those who break its laws. Remember, it's results that count, and the newspapers will be watching you like a hawk. Well, Governor, I, I hardly know what to say, but I do know what I want, and I know the men. When they find out that what I'm doing is for their own good, they'll get behind me. I know they will. I sincerely hope you're right. Good luck. Thank you, Governor. I think you'll see a different prison. So you're back, eh? Yeah, I'm back. Still a tough boy? No, sir. I'm all reformed. Well, don't try any rough stuff in here. So back you go. Now get over there and get to work. Come on, standing up. Imagine. Hey, the kid's all right. You gonna let him in? From now on, after me, you take orders from him. Nice going, kid. Where's my prize rat? In the hospital. Listen, kid, we're busting out. I'm not moving. Not until I transact a little personal, unfinished business. Supposing I see that you take care of it on the way out. Well, maybe I'm interested. We don't lose on this, kid. It's going to take time, brains, but what's the layout? Something's up. I'll tell you later. Get all the men out to the yard. Watch out. Something big. Okay. <laughs> I'm your new warden. Look at what Santa brought us. A little pair of white wings. <laughs> I'm no stranger here. I was born in a house not a hundred yards from this spot. You all know me. I feel I know you. I'll cooperate with you just as long as you do the same with me. I think we understand each other. I can promise you there'll be some changes. Certain punishments will be abolished. You'll be given every opportunity to train yourselves for jobs on the outside. Now, this demands an obligation on your part. Behave yourself. Get along with your fellow prisoners. That's all, men. Back to your jobs. This would have been a great day for your father. Yeah, I hope I handle the job half as well as he would have. You will, boy, but watch yourself. Don't give them too much too fast, because they won't like it. And they won't trust you. They'll trust me. In a month, you won't know this place. Come on, boy, move out. Come on, there, boy, step clear. Come on, move out. Solitary's all over. And if you want to thank anybody, thank you, new warden. Come on, move down. Follow me. I suppose you're sorry to see that go, hey, boys? You sent for me? Yes, hello, Johnny. So you got promoted. Congratulations. 
Thank you. You're looking much better. I didn't come here for a tete-a-tete. -tete. What do you want with me? Let's have it. All right. You say you were framed. I don't know about that. That's a matter for the courts. I am concerned with you while you're here. So far, your record's been bad, Johnny. Very bad. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. I'm willing to forget the past and give you a clean slate. Don't do me any favors. You dug yourself right into that hole, you know. Maybe I had my reasons. Johnny, you and Kane had the worst element here. I've tried reasoning with him. He's a confirmed lawbreaker. But you're not. Now, I'm not asking you to do anything I haven't asked the other men. Nobody hates a stool pigeon more than I. All I want from you and your gang is the cooperation I need to help put over my new program. The rest of the men are all for it. Now, how about it? Do I get it? You're barking up the wrong tree. All right, Johnny, have it your way. But I warn you, I need everyone's help. And I mean to get it. Is that all? That's all. There's that frown again, Frank. What's the matter? You never tell me anything anymore. That's what little girls are for, not to be told anything. Oh, pooh. Seriously, what is it? Two men. One bad. The other one I'm not so sure about. But together they control the worst element here, and I might as well face it without their help. I'm stuck, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. But only two men? What would your juvenile delinquency professor recommend? Sounds spanking, maybe. Well, if I had two bad children to deal with, I'd separate them. That's lesson number one. A little too late for that. I don't think it's ever too late, Frank. It's just a little harder, that's all. You know, this kid stuff isn't bad, Amy. I think I'll try your idea. Oh, I'm smart, I am. Now finish your dessert. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Say, by the way, you've got a prisoner named Johnny Gray. <clears throat> How is he? He's a bad one, sir. Yeah, what do you know about him? Oh, I, I, I wouldn't say he was bad. I... Well, what would you say he was, then? Well, I, I don't know yet. Someday I'll find out. Well, he finished college just as I started. He was the campus hero. I haven't had a crush on him myself. Then there was a girl named Patricia Bedford, and she had him hooked. <laughs> well, we've got him hooked now. Gosh, he was handsome. I think maybe you still have that crush. How about it? Oh, Mr. Saunders, how you talk. <laughs> Say, how would you like to have some flowers? Flowers? Yes, you know, you plant a seed in the ground before you know it. Uh... You mean after all these years you're going to buy me flowers? Well, I'd buy them. But I might have some grown, especially for you. Get from the guards, Gray. You're can out of here. What do you mean? You've been detailed to outside work. Congratulations. Get another boy. I'm satisfied. Come on. Get going. Yesterday you saw the warden. Today he lands a soft job. Interesting. Ain't it, boss? The kid's are all right. I hope so, boss, because I don't want to bust out of here into the warden's arms. Let me worry about that. Planting? What are they? Up here. Oh, it's you. What kind of plants are they? Tunia. Tunia? Well, in that case, you're, you're planting too deep for petunias. They'll never bloom if you do that. Okay, okay. Uh, no, now you got them too shallow. You see, petunias take expert planting. That's the secret. Yeah, yeah, I know. You should have seen my garden. That is, that is as big as that. You'd never dream that flowers could be so lovely. We'll do a lot of dreaming in that gas chamber. Uh, plant them a little bit to the left, will you, so I can see them better? Look, I'll do this. You worry about your future. Oh, 
please, please. I, I, I shan't bother you. Now, now, now a little to the right, huh? How do you like your new work, Johnny? I didn't ask for it. Everybody needs a change now and then. Sometimes a little fresh air works wonders. You don't tempt me. I'm not one of your chicken-livered stooges crying for mercy. What makes you think you're so tough? Someday you'll find out. Well, I wouldn't try anything foolish. After lunch, plant some of these over at Duncan's house. There'll be somebody there to show you where. Are you really so tough? Ah, shut up. Johnny Gray. Huh? Oh, you don't remember me, of course. We went to college together. Only I was a wide-eyed freshman when you were a dashing senior. Sorry, I don't recall the face. <laughs> well, I can't much blame you for that. If I remember, there was a Patricia Bedford. <laughs> what do you want these? Oh, well, let me see. I think right down here would be nice. Right along here. All right. I love the tunis, don't you? Well, I can take them or leave them. <laughs> You don't seem very happy. I thought all the men enjoyed working on the outside. I didn't apply for this job. Tell me, how do the men like their new warden? I wouldn't know. How about you? He's just another copper to me. Oh, but don't you see he's trying to help you? Aren't you better off now? Think what he's trying to do. No one caught me whimpering. Johnny, you have changed. Yeah, not the bright-eyed boy I was at college, am I? Wonder what the matter could be. <laughs> well? Johnny, I never for a minute believed you were guilty. You should have been at my trial. Well, I read all those things in the newspapers, but I didn't believe them. There must have been something. A frame-up? Bright girl, bright girl. Get on my next jury. But you mustn't let these things poison you. You could only see yourself. Beat it, will you? Johnny, don't try to be tough. Leave me alone and tell little Warden Fauntroy the same. Get your stuff, Gray. The warden's leasing you a new apartment. What's the idea? Well, maybe he's worried about your comfort. Or maybe he thinks you need a change of atmosphere. Well, I don't like it. Take it easy, kid. What's this for? Putting you for yourself. Kane's been giving you some bad ideas. Why don't you pick on somebody else? Take these blankets we sell. Yes, sir. Look, Johnny, you think we're all against you here. That's not so. I'm going to show you something that may change that attitude of yours. I'm all eyes. That's the beginning of our new athletic program, Johnny. Might not be a bad idea for you. I'm not the athletic type. Was oh, that so? I heard you were quite a football star in college. So what? Come on, I'll show you something else. Training they receive here enables them to find good jobs when they leave. The National Defense Program needs trained workers. Every day, letters reach me from all over the country begging for these men, and the parole board's been very lenient. Might be a way out for you, Johnny, if you care to take it. No, thanks. Sure? Not interested. Johnny, you've had a good education. Seems to me you ought to be interested in reading. We've got some very fine books in the library. Yeah? Maybe I ought to write a book sometime entitled Justice, or How I Served Ten Years on a Pony Rat. I know someone who thinks you're innocent, but you've almost convinced her otherwise. Very interesting. I was in hopes she might help you pull yourself together. You two ought to get yourselves a tambourine and a cornet, but don't play on my corner. I don't like your sermons. It's not a bad sermon if you see things my way. Funny thing, I don't. All right, Johnny. Someday I think you will.
Better see the boss. What's up? Your pals are going over the wall. Who said so? Grapevine. It's never wrong. Where's Kane? Working in the laundry. What's this I hear about my prize rats planning to make a break for it? That's right. I gotta work fast. That's a kid. They'll never make it. Lay off. Let the state take care of them. This is one thing I gotta take care of myself. Don't be a sap. They'll have you slipping the eggs with old Wayne. Let me worry about that. I need a gun, Kane. Fix it. But I, uh... I don't think I can get one. Quit stalling. Okay, it's your funeral. Mine and three others. I told you to give them more water, but you wouldn't listen. Why don't you be quiet? They'll never bloom by tomorrow. I know it. Okay, pal. But it won't work. Can't hustle Mother Nature. You know, the blooming of a flower to me is the birth of something very beautiful. It's an exquisite and precious moment. In a few hours from now, I'll cease to exist, but that won't be an unfavorable exchange. But that's the reason for my anxiety. If I... Johnny, if I could see just one more bloom, it'd go easier. Well, you won't. Try some more water. Why, hello, Johnny. Well, I... I, uh... I came to borrow Petunia. They're, uh, blooming up here, and I... Nice one right there. Yes, I see. I don't mean to seem inquisitive, but uh, a few days ago, you didn't seem very interested in flowers. They're for a friend. Friend? Well, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, as a matter of fact, it's for Wayne. He's going to be executed tomorrow, and he's a... Uh, He's got a crazy idea about flowers. Oh. You're not as tough as you think you are, Johnny Gray. Ask your boyfriend. Who, Frank? Oh. Why do you think he's my boyfriend? Well, he is, isn't he? Well, we've known each other for years. We grew up together, but... Oh, well... Well, I'll, I'll return this. Thanks. me this morning if there's anything I want. It's sort of a last big quest. You're not the easiest guy in the world to figure out. Well, forgive me about the water, Johnny. I didn't mean to be a nuisance. I couldn't have produced the more beautiful bloom myself. Ah, forget it. Well, I suppose the guard will be along pretty soon to lock you up. It's getting late. What do you mean? Oh, they always lock up prisoners before an execution. I read about it somewhere. Funny how you read about things. It all seems so far away. Suddenly that happened to you. But I got what I wanted. I'll just take a couple of deep breaths. It's going to be a few seconds. Come on, Johnny. Everybody gets locked up for the big event. for it. It's got a hold of you. 
Nothing. I, uh... I'm gonna let the state take care of it. Now, that's the stuff, kid. That's playing it smart. Sure, let those lugs get drilled. When the time comes, you and me will bust it out right. Hey, Johnny? Sure, Kane. Sure, sure. I'll sound the alarm. Phone the warden. About four. I wonder if Gray's in his cell. Over here. Right, sir. Boy. You got one in the hospital, Warden. You better hurry. Was Gray among them? No, sir. Thanks. Come on. Warden, this is something I, I have to tell you. All right, Cleaver. What is it? Johnny Gray. He's... He's... What about Gray? What about him? He's in on a frame. We... We had to have someone take the rap for Rico. <laughs> Kids innocent. Spring in. Get the governor on the phone. Expressed how we really feel, Johnny. Forget it. I'm going to. Well, think over my proposition. If you decide to accept it, let me know. I will. Bye, Johnny, and good luck. Thanks. There's a Miss Bedford waiting for you at the outside gate, Johnny. Thanks, Murphy. Tell her I'll be there in a few minutes. Okay. apologize for the way I've acted. I guess I was pretty nasty. Well, you had a perfectly good right to be. No, I didn't. But no one could tell me that at the time. Well, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, bye. Amy, that, that senior that you knew at college doesn't exist anymore. Believe me. I'm going to find something to do, some sort of work. Oh, that's wonderful. There's a job here. Frank told me so. I know. I, I've been thinking about it. But 
I, I've got to have time to decide. Thanks for believing in me. And that? Will you tell the young lady at the outside gate not to wait for me? I'm not coming out. Why, sure. Hello, Johnny. Well? How do I look? You look much better in that outfit. Main thing's how do you feel? Well, now that I've made up my mind, I feel I've taken the right step. With you as athletic director of the prison, my reform program is going to be much easier. There's no use in my emphasizing the importance of your job. I think if you keep the men physically fit, they'll stay mentally fit. Duncan will show you the routine you'll find in the mess hall. Yes, sir. Mighty proud of you, Johnny. Good luck. Thanks. I'll do my best. Look who's turned copper. Dirty little... Spell. Ain't you saw a boss? My old pal, Johnny. Artillery come in this morning, 638s. Good. Passing the wrong. The boy's seen who's back, and they don't like it, boss. He knows the word. Ah, sure, sure. So he sings to the warden, and we wind up in the ice house. He's not back to Red Apple Sanders. Then why the guard outfit? Well, figure it out. The kid's done a phony. And I'm sorry from the governor, and a slap on the back from the warden ain't gonna change that baby. Oh, now, Johnny. Get wise, he's working in close. With him next to the warden, we walk any time. Yeah, and you gotta hand it to him. Yeah, well, tell the boys to play along. Don't make no trouble for him. And the sooner he gets solid with the warden, the sooner we walk, baby. I got you. Oh, beat it. Huh? Scram, I wanna talk to Johnny. Sure, boss. Hi, right, Jumpy. Hi, Johnny. How's it going, Kane? Oh, not bad, kid. <laughs> you almost look like a copper. You see that? Now do you understand why I don't trust him? Well, the men were cellmates. Johnny's wise in keeping his friendship. <laughs> Been keeping your nose clean? Hey, yeah, you know me, Johnny. Say, will you do me a favor? Anything for an old pal. Would you get the boys to come out and play baseball? I'd like to see you there, too. Sure, I'll get them out for you. Like I said, anything for an old pal. Thanks, Kane. The warden will be very pleased and it'll help me a lot. I'd like to start off with a big bang. That's right, Johnny. A lot of bangs, huh? Don't worry, Duncan. Remember this, Johnny's no criminal. I have a hunch you'll see Kane out on that baseball diamond before long. I don't think so. But if you do, you better frisk him. <laughs> oh, go ahead and laugh. But mind you, I'm going to keep an eye on Gray. You've done a great job, Johnny. You know, it's hard to believe those men I just saw on the athletic field are the same fellas. Well, the credit's all yours, Frank. I just carry out orders. Oh, no. No, you got Kane and these boys out there. I couldn't have done that. I think he'll settle down. I can handle him. Good. You know, I had a long talk with the governor today. He tells me his office is being flooded with letters from all over the country demanding we go back to the old system. But he's pleased with what we're doing, and I think he'll play along with us. So, it begins to look like if we don't have any trouble, we get this thing licked. This is just the start. Almost forgot to tell you, Amy wants us to come to dinner tonight. I want you to come. You know, it's a funny thing. She thinks you've been avoiding her. I told her it was just her imagination. I'm sorry, I, uh, I can't go tonight. I'm on duty in the block at 10. Wait a minute, you've got to do better than that. You can leave early, you know. I'll expect you at eight. Well, I, uh... uh yes? Nothing. Eight o'clock it is. 
When the umpire called that third strike on Zambowski, I had to call three of the guards to keep the boys from mobbing him. <laughs> Oh, I think it's wonderful the way you've gotten the boys interested in sports, Johnny. Well, it's easy enough if you have the kind of cooperation I get from them. Well, it's getting late. I better run along. So soon? Yeah, I have to relieve your father at 10. Oh. Thanks for the dinner. If you wait till I make a phone call, Johnny, I'll walk with you. Okay. You've hardly said a word all evening. I'm sorry. And besides, you haven't been around to inspect the fruits of your labor. What? The petunias, they're gorgeous. How I used to hate those flowers. <laughs> Johnny. Yes? There seems to be a wall between us. Is something wrong? No, nothing. But you seem so strange. I hadn't noticed it. Johnny, that time you kissed me, did it mean anything? No, nothing. who look like you've been telling secrets. Well, we haven't got any secrets anymore, have we, Johnny? Should we go? Sorry, Amy. Goodbye. Good night. Well, I certainly am disappointed in you. What? Yes, for a fellow who's supposed to know what it's all about, you're a dope. Now, wait a minute. Amy's in love with you, and everybody around here knows it but you. That's too bad. Now, listen, if you have any ideas about Amy and me, forget them. We were brought up together, and there's a great affection between us, but that's all. We're not in love. Wait a minute. Do you mean that? Certainly I do, and if I were you, I'd do something about it. Well, I thought all along that you and... Why don't you stop thinking? Try some action. Gray reporting, sir. What are you so happy about? Nothing, sir. All right. Start with the main floor block. Yes, sir. I know, but Johnny, we're busting out of here tomorrow. Fix the warden. Well, you're crazy, Kane. I'm going straight. Don't kid, pal. You got me all wrong. I'm straight. No good rat. out of here. Come on, let's open the cells. Show up, did he? Yeah, that's a hot one. Here, Jumpy. Right. Stick him in with our pal. Right. You never get away with this. Go on back to your cells. Don't be fooled. Don't give me no trouble, copper. I've got to save you for later. Get moving. Right here. Get in there. You'll regret this. You won't be around to find out. Are you all right, boy? Don't worry about me. Okay, fellas, pile up. We 
we got to stop it. Now, easy. They're not out there. We'll be lucky if we get out of here alive. Quiet, everybody. Quiet! There's some fellas way going out. If any of you birds want to go back in your cage, just get. We don't want to go back. We want to go back with you. Come on, just say the word. How about you? I'll go too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Have they got Duncan and Gray. The whole block's open. Everyone at his post? Yes, sir. The governor's on the phone. Hello, governor. Warden Sanders. How bad, Sanders? Do you want the troops? I can have them there within... No, no, not yet. Give me a chance. I'm going to try to get the men to go back of their own accord. Do you think you can handle it, Sanders? No, if you fail, it'll mean your resignation. Well, if you want to take that chance, all right. I'll wait half an hour. If I don't hear from you within that time, I'll have to call out the troops. Thank you, sir. Frank! What are you doing He's here? He's got them in there. You've got to do something. I'll try. Now, please go home. No, I'm going to stay. Tell the men I want no shooting unless it's absolutely necessary. Yes, sir. What are you going to do? Appeal to them. If what we've been doing is right, they'll go back to their cells. Oh, but suppose they won't. Frank, this is no time for crazy experiments. Don't you understand? They've got Dad and Johnny locked in there. Can't you get No. Them? Now, all you have to do is listen to me and everything will be all right. Okay, well. Really? Men, this is Warden Sanders. You're being led by a few desperate, deluded fools. Now get back to your cells. Escape is impossible. Ah, we don't do that. What do you think? Go on back and you won't be harmed. Don't listen to him, fellas. We're all in this together. Can you hear me, Warden? Get back to your cell, Kane. You'll never get the men to follow you. You'll never get through. Eh? Get Duncan and Gray. Come on. Keep your shirt on, Sanders! What are they going to do, Frank? Amy, will you please go home? But Frank! Men, I appeal to you. Go back to your cells. Open up, Warden, and let us through. Or I'll plug your prize rats. Say something so he'll know you're here. Come on, speak up. Don't give in, Frank. Ray and your father, like the other guards, know the responsibilities of their job. I can't let them. Take away their guns. Don't let a handful of men bully you. I tell you, if there's any bloodshed, it means the end of your privileges. You'll return to the old system. I give you my word on that. Now, don't let a few men destroy the privileges you've worked for. You've got 60 seconds to open up. Listen to your warden, men. Go on back to your cells. He's on your side. Believe me, I was one of you myself. Trust him. Not a word out of you, no. You may have these men buffaloed, Kane, but not me. Go on back to your cell. Yeah, and get the hole for life? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Does that gate open? You know it doesn't, Kane. Come on, speak for your rat! Gray knows the rules. Okay. You asked for it. He's right. I don't want the hole. What do we get out of this? We won't make it anyway. That's right, fellas. The warden's right. Now pay any attention, fellas. It's a trick. What's the matter, Kane? The men don't seem to want to take your orders. Yeah? So long. I often came. I didn't want to do it, you know, but I was, I was trying to help you guys out. I left it. Jump me. Now listen, fellas. You better stay where you are. Back yourself, eh? Jack, bag, stamp, bag, we're up. Look, every one of you. Yeah, really clean. Wait a minute, stop. Wait a minute, stop. Wait a minute, stop. 